<laughs> he heats up to the ER as he heats up the ER as Dr. <laughs> Derek uh, Shepard of the ABC hit series Grey's Anatomy. Please welcome the dreamy Patrick Dempsey. <laughs> I like the vest a lot. I love it. Honestly, the last time I had the tie too tight, I've relaxed a little bit. Yeah, it's very relaxed. I feel good. I'm waking up. Is this your Halloween costume? Yes. We were talking about Halloween backstage a little bit. Right. I think we're going to go with skeletons. I think that's a great family. Yes. My boys have been doing it for like the last month, preparing for Halloween. Halloween. Every morning they wake up and they go right to the costumes. Right. And I don't know who's who because they're like they've got the mask on. You don't know what's going on. It's very cute. And you are, going, are you going in your in your uh, workout clothes or your uh, working clothes in the I hospital? I should just grow in, in my scrubs. I should yes, go. Yes, yes, is what I'm trying <laughs> to say. Trick or treat. People would say, that's an amazing costume. Yeah. <laughs> you look just like him. How incredible. <laughs> I don't, won't be doing that now. No. But they will be going as skeletons. Yes. Well, that's Unless good. they change their mind. You never know. Well, they do that at the last minute. I mean, that's been you have to the have tradition like a in our house yeah. is that at the last second, the kids say, I'm not wearing this. And then they go and they get last year's costume, which they've grown so much, essentially fits like a thong. <laughs> That's what I'll be wearing. It's very frightening. <laughs> Every year it's scary. So you hard at work now uh, doing your show? Do you ever have a chance to go home? Uh, it's, been, it's been very busy uh, this year. Um, home is Maine, isn't it? Uh, well, I'm from Maine originally. Yeah. Yes. Somebody from Maine right there? Somebody where where are you now? from? She's from New Jersey. Point. Where? Point. Oh, yes, of course. That's a practically, well, Boston. You're right there on the point. Huh? Good to see you. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Thank, thanks a lot for telling us you're from Maine. <laughs> so much the whole show. That's fantastic. <laughs> Where were we? What were we saying? Well, we're just talking about you, what you do in your spare time. Right, and... well, we've been working on the show. You know, yeah. I, I fly back tonight and I start first thing in the morning. No. It's a lot of work. It's and like you have to know hours. medical jargon. Oh, I know. I have a lot of medical jargon tomorrow, and it's the, it's the hardest to memorize. I, I'm sure I've asked you this before, but let me ask you a question. If something bad were to happen to us, God forbid, right here, would you, would you be able to save us, do you think? I probably couldn't, no. No. <laughs> I could look like I was doing something productive right. and saving your life, but no. I don't you know. learn to learn anything out of all these years? It's like cramming for a test. Like, right. you have all this in your mind. I just say MRI and CAT scan, and then oh, I do... Oh, you, now you're speaking. Like, Regis is lying yeah. and all that stuff. <laughs> but you know, it's fun. I like the procedure. Can you read an MRI? Um, I'm getting better at it, yes. Uh -huh. Can you read an MRI? <laughs> well, no, there's, you have to, we have, we have she doesn't know. I know. It's, uh, <laughs> Those aren't real MRIs up there. It's just pictures. <laughs> well, not for the cases. Sometimes they, we actually do have the, the actual MRIs. Really? Yes. Sure, and the doctors, it's fun when we're in the OR, we're surrounded by real nurses and doctors sometimes. Mm -hmm. They make you look very good by handing you the right... Yeah, right. Yeah, right. it's fun. It shows an enormous hit, one of the biggest on ABC. It's unbelievable. It's been six years. Uh, mm -hmm. It's still doing well. People love that medical profession on TV, don't they? I think so. They really love that. They love the drama and the interaction between the, all, all the different characters yeah. as well. Right? Yeah. I think that's what it is. Absolutely. Very fortunate to have uh, been a part of this uh, show. This came to you right at the top of the show? You were part of the opening cast? Yes, yes. Yeah. I went in, auditioned for it, did the screen test and did all that. Did you really have to That surprises oh, yeah, me in, that you have to audition oh, for Oh, I'm glad. Day. Hopefully I never have to do that again because right. that's the hardest thing for an actor to do. Because you yeah. go in and you, you work, you know, all this energy behind learning the lines and um, you, you put, you want the job. Right. And you go in and then they say, no, you're not getting the job. Yeah. So it's very heartbreaking. And sometimes don't you want to go in and go, look, I'm just not good at auditions. I get nervous. If you give me this job, I'm really good at it. Yeah, there I'll are a lot, be good I mean, at it. There are a lot know? of great actors out there that aren't working right now. Right. So it's, 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 it's very hard. We'll take a break. We'll come back and show you a clip. Still ahead on live, from the hill, Brody Jenner. And also, we'll tell you how you can have a chance to win a brand new car. <laughs> Now, have you ever, as, as this doctor you play, have yes. you ever lost a patient? Oh, all of last season. Every I patient, mean, every patient that came like in. He was like Dr. Death. Yeah. <laughs> is that right? Oh, yeah. I would say every patient, it seemed like last year, I had lost. So did, is there a penalty for losing a patient uh, in your business? And Well, you're just not highly rated as a surgeon. 
I wouldn't Curtis recommend uh, <laughs> anybody coming in. Uh, but it was a part of his crisis last year. He was, mm -hmm. uh, he was not very confident in his ability. In so the what are the changes we're making this year in the show? Well, we've had a lot of births this year and children, you know, outside yeah. the cast. You know, Ellen sure. just had a, a baby uh -huh. and yeah. uh, Katie just adopted and they've been gone. Katie's been uh, doing a, a movie. So well, what they're doing is they're focusing on individual characters mm -hmm. now and changing the whole dynamic of the show. And I think last week's show was really interesting with the merger and what was going on there. So, the hospitals? Yes. Yeah. The and two Ellen's hospitals. pregnancy, coming. they didn't write into the show. No, they didn't. They didn't want that to be a part of this year's storyline. Yeah, so maybe of, next year she'll be pregnant. I think it would be an interesting thing. We're surprised McBabies haven't been a part of the plot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, season seven, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> For the end of this year, I so, never. So what is going to happen with the hospital merger? I mean, what does that mm -hmm. come to? Why would the audience be interested in that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, I think what's going to happen is like who's going to control the hospital? Uh, my character and the chief are at oh, odds, and I'm yeah. sort of uh, vying for control of uh, uh, running the show. You are literally. The chief, <laughs> is the chief losing control? Is he that... is losing a bit of control, and it starts to. Even uh... though you keep losing patients, well, this you're, year you're no, going to be no, in control. No. Um, tomorrow night's episode, I'm saving patients. Hopefully, <laughs> this year I'm saving patients. You're back to saving. Yeah, it's a good year for me. We were talking about. Um... <laughs> Uh, what, what does he know medically? You know. Yes, that's right. And so you mentioned something about you could you could read an MRI. Yes. Well, in this particular scene, here you are. You are examining a patient's X-ray. Yes, that's right. All right, take a look at him in action now, Patrick Dempsey. Everyone said you'd found the great white of tumors, but I just had to see it for myself. And now that you have. You want my fellow attending answer or my fellow surgeon answer? Fellow surgeon. This tumor is dangerous, complicated, and smart. It's beautiful. This tumor is the reason I got into medicine in the first place. To successfully take out this tumor would be an achievement you could hang your hat on for the rest of your career. <laughs> you could retire on this tumor. Inspired by the Sydney Olaf for 10 hours. Yeah. I didn't do anything and closed him up and got out. Fascinating story. Jennifer Wilson, who also wow. directed uh, this episode. Yeah, she did but a great job. It was interesting job. what Kelly just said. Do, do you, as doctors, talk about patients and, and their problems uh, as you did in this scene? I think they love the challenge of it, and this, this actual procedure actually happened. The, the surgeon went in, it was a 10-hour surgery where he just went in to try to figure out how to start to attack the tumor. Mm. Because what you have to do, uh, most surgeons would have just basically cut the cord to kill the tumor and left this uh, person paralyzed. Mm -hmm. So he went in, he opened the patient up, he just looked at the tumor for 10 hours, closed it back up and said, I can't do this. And uh, it was another doctor. He said, no, you can do it. Go back in. So he went back in, and he just started cutting. It's uh, very vascular, so they had to go in and just, I think it was like a 25-hour surgery. Oh and saved the man. So that was, it's based on a true story, which is fascinating. Incredible. And the surgeon showed up, and, and we were talking to him about it. And yeah, it was very, really very, good, very interesting. It's really an interesting business, isn't it? It is. It's fascinating. Oh, boy. All right, Grey's Anatomy, Thursday night, 9 o'clock on ABC. That's a good to have you here, buddy.